Hi everyone, welcome to Lola's Frugal Life. This is episode number 85 and this is my weekly meal plan episode where I share with you what I have on my meal plan for my family for the upcoming week. So please stick around for a few quick words from our sponsor and we'll get right into the episode. Hi everyone, so welcome to the weekly meal plan. Um, If you haven't listened before, each week I share what I have on the meal plan for my family for the upcoming week. Um, and I will also let you know where the recipes are located online if, um, you know, for the ones that have recipes available. And I also do post them on the Facebook page for the show, which is on facebook.com slash Lola's Frugal Life. So um, this is a very simple meal rotation that I follow. So there's not going to be a whole lot of different meals um, each week. I usually don't repeat anything more than... Um, Like, I wouldn't do something like two weeks in a row, but I very often do things every other week. So um, it's not like I'm always making new recipes. It's kind of a lot of repeats, and I do that on purpose to make life easy right now. Um, I do like cooking, and I do like new recipes, but right now it's just a busy time, and it's working really well for me to um, just follow, like, a simple meal rotation. So like I've explained before, for example... Just real quick, if we're doing hamburgers on Monday, and I and I in our meal plan we do hamburgers every other Monday. So as soon as we have hamburgers, I go ahead in my meal plan and I put down hamburgers again two weeks from now. So the meal plan kind of builds itself based on that rotation, um, so that I know um, it's kind of just flows very easily. And when it's time to go grocery shopping, my meal plan is pretty much already built. So anyway, these episodes are, um, you know. Of, I, the reason I'm doing them is because I thought maybe there might be some people who might want to actually follow the meal plan if you happen to like the same types of things we do. Um, and if not, maybe just listening to it could kind of get you in the mood to start planning your meal plan for the week um, or maybe give you some ideas of some things that you make that you haven't made in a while that you might want to add into your meal plan. So I think it's really important to have a meal plan um, just for many reasons, um, saving time, of uh, thinking about what you're going to have for dinner, Um, keeping on your grocery budget so that you can um, know what you need to buy and also um, it's just healthier too and you're not eating out all the time. So anyway, so the meal plans start on Saturdays. I always put this out on Wednesday so that if you are following it, you'll have enough time to get your grocery list together um, in time to purchase everything before the meals actually start. So for this Saturday... August 22nd. Oh yeah, I always forget to say this. The meal plan is all dinners. I don't plan lunches except every once in a while there's a certain thing I'll put on for lunch, but pretty much I just plan dinners. Um, And that's because we usually do lunches or like leftovers, frozen pizza, sandwiches, things like that. Okay, so this week's meal plan starts out on Saturday for August 22nd. So um, on Saturday we are doing air fryer whole chicken. That is from bellofthekitchen.com, and um, it's really just a really simple, um, you just buy a a whole chicken, and you just, um, you know, uh, coat it with, like, butter and some seasonings, and you just cook the whole chicken right in the air fryer. It comes out kind of like rotisserie chicken style, so it's really, um, it comes out really good, and it's super easy to make. Um, And then on the side with that, we're doing easy vegetable pot pie which is just basically like your typical pot pie. It has like, um, you use like the pre, the um, frozen prepared pie crust and then you put, it's like a mixture of like, uh, it says cream of potato soup. I think I usually just wind up buying cream of mushroom soup, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. And uh, frozen vegetables and milk. And you know, you just kind of make the filling and put the pie crust over top. So that goes good with the chicken. And then I'm also doing, um, Brussels sprouts. So like I have the recipe on here that I was actually using is, is, um, air fryer Brussels sprouts from allrecipes.com. And I do make those all the time. The, the Brussels sprouts come out really good in the air fryer, but in, for this particular meal, since I'm making the chicken in the air fryer, I'll be making the Brussels sprouts just in the frying pan with a little olive oil. And I just realized I forgot to tell you um, the easy vegetable pot pie. That recipe was from allrecipes.com. So that's Saturday. The air fryer whole chicken with the vegetable pot pie and the Brussels sprouts on the side. Then for Saturday, I'm doing sausage and peppers in the crock pot. Um, This is called, the actual recipe is called sausage and peppers for a dozen. And it's it's from allrecipes.com. And it's basically just like sausage and peppers and onions with... um, sauce that cook in the crock pot 
the recipe actually calls for them to be served as sandwiches, but we're not actually going to be making sandwiches. Um, we're just doing the sausage and peppers. And then I'm also making um, something called Easy Ravioli Bake. That's from BettyCrocker.com. And that's just like a really simple um, ravioli bake where you just put like sauce, ravioli, cheese, sauce, ravioli, cheese, that type of thing. And you just bake it in the oven. And it works out good for us because one of my um, kids doesn't eat meat. So she can eat the veg the the ravioli bake, and then those of us who eat meat will have the ravio ravioli bake with the sausage and peppers on the side. So those go good kind of those kind of go good together. Um, okay, so then Monday we are doing hot dogs and um, air fried um, potatoes and chickpea salad. So um, there's no recipe for hot dogs. Obviously, they're just hot dogs, and I buy hot dog buns to put them on. And I make the um, the home the um, potatoes in the air fryer. I basically just cut them up in little chunks, and I'll put um, peppers and onions in there. And then we'll do like Italian hot dogs. Um, that's a meal that I only do once a month, and I probably might even start stretching that out to like once every other month, or maybe once every month and a half, or something like that. It's really good like it comes out really good but I kind of like to stretch out the amount of time in between when we have hot dogs for dinner because <laughs> it's not exactly health food um, but with that at least we are having the chickpea salad which is called chickpea salad 2 like roman numeral 2 and that's on allrecipes.com and that's just like a simple salad with like um, chickpeas a cucumber chopped up cherry tomato chopped up and then just like a like an oil and vinegar type dressing it's a good side salad. Uh, Tuesday, we are doing tacos. So we do um, tacos every other Tuesday. So that will be this Tuesday coming up. And I don't really have a recipe for that. Um, it's just, I basically just cook up some ground meat and put taco seasoning, you know. And then you put out like, I put out like the lettuce, tomato, um, whatever, cheese, um, stuff like that. And I have the shells. I do the hard shells and the soft shells. And then I am also making with that instant pot lentil tacos for my daughter who doesn't eat meat. Um, it's a really good filling to put on the tacos and then they usually wind up making um, like nachos and stuff with the leftovers. And that recipe is taste is from um, tastebetterfromscratch.com and it's instant pot lentil tacos. It's so easy. You, you literally just put lentils in the instant pot with some... Um, well, the recipe calls for chicken broth, but I just do it with um, vegetable broth because um, it's for my daughter that doesn't eat meat and diced tomatoes. And the rest is just some seasonings and it cooks like super easy and it comes out really good. So that's Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, we're doing a shrimp scampi bake, which is also from allrecipes.com. And that's a really easy shrimp recipe. Uh, you kind of just put butter in the bottom of like a nine by 13 baking dish and you um, melt it a little bit first and then you add the shrimp in. It's, it's not just butter, it's like butter, um, Dijon mustard, and I forgot, I feel like there was maybe something else like lemon, I think. And um, you just bake it and then I'll just do usually like um, some kind of pasta on the side. A lot of times I'll do spaghetti. And then when this when the shrimp is done in the oven, I just kind of toss it into the spaghetti and just like mix it up and it makes like a really good kind of kind of sort of like one pot meal. So that's Wednesday. Um, Thursday, I am doing Instant Pot Creamy Mushroom Soup. Now, I have not made this recipe before, so I can't say for sure how it's going to be, but it sounded really good, and it's um, it uses fresh mushrooms and um, heavy cream, um, you know, and broth, but it sounded like it would be really good. So we're going to try that, um, and that we're just going to have with grilled cheese on the side. So I thought that'd be like a good soup to go with grilled cheese probably more like a wintery kind of thing, but whatever. That's what we're doing on Thursday. Um, then on Friday, this is the last meal um, in the meal plan for the week. We're doing um, penne with broiled chicken. This is not a recipe. It's just something I made up at one point in time and my kids really like it. I, I just take um, some chicken breast and I slice it up like in little like bite-sized pieces and I toss it with a little olive oil and like salt and pepper and then I broil it um, so that it's slightly overcooked so that it gets just like a little, sort of just like a little tiny brownish or crispy, you know, um, almost more like a grilled chicken, like if you threw it on the grill outside. And then I boil up some penne pasta and I take um, mozzarella cheese. And so basically I, I cook the penne pasta, I toss it with olive oil when it's done and some like salt and pepper. 
and then I put it in a bowl so that it's not still on the heat and then I toss the mozz- shredded mozzarella cheese in so that it's not like fully melted it's just kind of sort of melted a little bit and it tastes really good and then I'll put like those chicken pieces on the side um, that way my daughter that doesn't eat meat will just eat like the penne pasta with the mozzarella and then um, the rest of us will add the grilled chicken in and it comes out really good so that's that and we're just doing um, a side dish of frozen vegetables I don't have anything in specific written down I usually just have some of those like steamed fresh vegetables in the fridge you know whatever we happen to have on hand like mixed vegetables or corn or whatever so that's that so that's this week's meal plan I hope this could be helpful to you Um, I would appreciate any feedback. You can reach me at facebook.com slash Lola's Frugal Life. And you can message me through the Facebook page. You could like the page to follow the posts. Um, There's also a private listeners group, which would be really awesome if you'd like to join. There's a link to the group in the Facebook page. Or you can go directly to facebook.com slash groups slash Lola's Frugal Life and submit a request to join. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you like the show. And also, um, if you feel up to it, I'd really appreciate if you could leave me a um, positive review. That'd be much appreciated. So thanks again for listening, and I hope you have a really awesome day.